Hi there everybody, it's Sue Beaton here. I'm the creator of Become Unstoppable, the 10 week intensive program that can take you from struggling to make enough money or enroll enough clients and wondering what's not working to making a reliable, fulfilling income and without sacrificing your life while you do it. I am a sales, marketing and mindset coach and my purpose here today is to create some new ahas for you so that you can make more money and more sales. This week we're going to talk about the second of the top three reasons why women solo entrepreneurs don't nail a sale and what you can do about it. Before that, let's do just a really quick recap of mistake number one. Mistake number one is responsible for many frustrating conversations that don't land and can be utterly demoralizing until you fix it. The reason? You're not talking to enough of the right people. When your signal is fuzzy, when the words you're putting out there aren't specific to who you're best positioned to serve, when you don't hone in on exactly what your clients need, or your idea of who you serve is a little bit fuzzy around the edges, all sorts of people may come through the door, attracted by what you're putting out there. And it's demoralizing when many of them aren't a good fit. And that's a setup for having conversation after conversation after conversation where they don't end up signing up as a client. And it can really self, uh, send your self-confidence straight down the drain. And don't beat yourself up if this is you, because it often feels so counterintuitive to narrow down and focus in. Your whole being can feel as if you must be leaving business on the table, which is so hard to do when getting clients is what we're all about, right? So getting, um, if we were to work together, it's one of the first things that I focus on is getting you really super clear here because that makes your single signal really clear. And then the right people start coming through the door for sales conversations. So getting the right client, getting ideal client right can unjam your business and be so liberating as long as you don't make mistake number two. And that's the focus of today's live. So let's get to this one. Pretty much all of us have what I call the accelerator or the gas pedal and the brake going on in our business. The accelerator is that part of us that's focused on doing and making it happen and our next best idea to crack the code to a reliable flow of great clients. It's that drive to move forward and make it happen and I'm going to talk about more about the gas pedal aspect of things next week because it's not without its pitfalls. But today, let's talk about the break because one of the things, the biggest mistakes that people make about the break is you can't see it. This or these are your hidden subconscious blocks that are stopping you from actually doing the very thing that your conscious brain is hell-bent on manifesting. Somewhere along the line, we pick up these erroneous ideas about ourselves, but they trip us up and repeatedly get in the way when we're not looking. Some very common ones, many of you've probably heard of imposter syndrome. I'm not good enough. Perfectionism getting ourselves in a whole swirl of perfectionism and keeping zigzagging from one thing to another. I'm not worthy. I don't deserve the success. People will judge me. People won't like me. People will reject me. People with money aren't nice. They're greedy. They're selfish. They're money grabbing. So if you're doing a mental check right now in your conscious mind while I'm saying this and you're thinking, no, 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 I, I don't, I, I don't think any of those are me. And yet you're still not seeing the results in your business that you've been striving for for a while. I am here to tell you your subconscious is up to something that is acting like a ball and chain in your business. And if you don't ferret it out, if you don't start shining a light on it and you don't start releasing this stuck subconscious program, you'll still be spinning a year from now, whatever you do. And that's so frustrating. 
One of the very first things I do with my clients is we look here to see what's going on and put a program in place so that while you're learning your business aspects, you are also clearing your blocks. And again, just like mistake number one, don't beat yourself up if this is you because they're called hidden barriers to success because they are hidden to us. Our subconscious is here to protect us. So we have to work with it so it can feel safe as we heal from these patterns. And here's the wonderful thing about getting support to release this block number two, this brake that's on in your business, like trying to drive with all the brakes full on. All of a sudden, everything you already know, once you clear this, becomes so much more, so much easier. All of a sudden, you're able to implement without all of this stuff in your way. Like you're the same essential being, but without that history, that block, that protection mechanism in place, suddenly solutions appear where before there didn't seem to be any. And if you combine your subconscious block clearing with a structured sales and marketing approach, all of a sudden you can take off in your business. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? So next week I'll be talking about mistake number three, getting the right gas pedal so that when the brake comes off, you are really ready to fly. So I'm Sue Beejant. I'm a sales, marketing and mindset coach. And if any of this is resonating with you, leave me your thoughts, comments or drop me a note. I really look forward to hearing from you.